Hi, I'm Ian Scott with the Charleston Metro Chamber of Commerce. And here with Dan Doyle from the Beach Company and Kevin Drexel uh, from the Charleston Redevelopment Corporation. We're talking about housing. It's one of the big issues on everybody's uh, minds today in the Charleston region. We're really trying to talk about what's driving the housing attainability or housing affordability crisis that we're, we're experiencing currently in the region. Uh, when we're dealing with a region that is constricted uh, by a national forest, by a large body of water, um, there's only so much area in which we'll be able to build. And the end result is sprawl. Uh, it is housing that ends up further away from the places where the people that live in that housing work. It results in more traffic congestion and ultimately uh, results in higher cost. Um, what we've seen over the last 40 years is a trajectory of housing costs increasing, but wages have not been keeping pace. And there's been a gap that's been going on year after year, and that gap's been compounding to a point where it's just not sustainable. There is kind of this market failure, or a, a part of the market that's unlikely to get served. Um, how do we go about addressing that as a region? What, what, are the, what are the mechanisms? You know, at the very bottom of the income scale, there, there has to be uh, public and private resources to address the uh, affordability of housing. Um, it, it's going to result in one of two things. Either a project doesn't move forward and supply becomes restricted, or the project does move forward and either uh, the rental price on that home or the sale price on that home will reflect the increased cost. Um, this is a challenging area to, to build in. Um, I'm not an engineer, but um, we're trying to do education with, with folks that are trying to understand housing costs. And from an engineering standpoint, you're, you're dealing with, with soils and geotechnical issues, which are uh, increasing costs. You're dealing with uh, hurricane wind loads. You're dealing with um, flood mitigation. And you're dealing with seismic issues. Um, those are all, all things that whether you're building affordable or not affordable, they have to take into account. Um, it's, it's a challenging area uh, to bring up an affordable product in line.